this year, Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Naomi here with us today. And Naomi was injured in an automobile accident, car crash, and she's been having some lower back and left SI joint pain, which is preventing her from like going shopping or parking too far away from the store, doing housework properly, and even interacting with your family properly. She's had to make some special accommodations just for her son as a result of her back pain. So we're treating her for that. This is only her second treatment here. And you already did pretty good after your first one, yes, huh? Yes, definitely. Well, let's take a look in the mirror and check your posture first. Just relax your hands and bend your head forward all the way and then backward all the way. And as you can see, she's got some restriction on her extension. Okay, now neutral. It was kind of ratchety. And then her head's forward in her posture. Still a little bit to the left of center, to the right of center, I'm sorry, looking in the mirror. And her pelvis, you can see, is shifted way left of center. Her hands are out in front of her as opposed to being at her side. That's part of the forward head posture, which increases the weight-bearing compressive stress of the spine all the way down. Okay, Naomi, I'm going to do your very first ring dinger today oh wow yeah this is the spinal decompression adjustment so for all you ring dinger fans this is the first time ring dinger let's go ahead and lay you on your back here and this is absolutely a very safe and effective adjustment for those who have been involved in automobile accidents because we want to remodel the ligaments that have been sprained in the spine back to a normal range of motion and when I do this that's what I'm feeling is the tension on the ligaments and the maximum range of motion for those joints in the y-axis so right now she's compressed and pitching the nerves she's got some better reflex on the left than the right right now I'm gonna have you get your hair out just a little bit there and we're gonna put this tail right under your skull keep your teeth together take a deep breath in let all your out. Mm -hmm. There you go. Felt that all the way down, didn't you? Wow. Yeah. This a wow adjustment. Wow. But that didn't hurt that bad, did no, it? No, it didn't. It takes a lot of pressure off. Yes. Oh, yeah. See, look, your reflex on the right's already a lot better. So we'll do your neck while we've got your legs up a little bit, too. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Chiropractic is essential for people who have been involved and injured in automobile accidents or car crashes. Okay, let's come over here. I need to tell me I'll help you up sideways. Bring your legs. There we go. And now I'm going to have you lay on your tummy. So that first ring ganger you did that great on. Really something. Yeah, that's definitely the. We get people from all over the world flying in to get that done. Yeah, you are taller. Okay, back on your tummy for me. And go ahead and put your face all the way up in that little piece of paper and relax your arms. Now, when we check her leg length, her right leg is coming out. I'm not checking the bottom of her shoes. For those of you who think you have to take the shoes off, you do not. Check where the sole and the heel meet. Her right one is shorter by about a half an inch. Now, when I bring it up, it actually stays short. That tightens up in your little back right there, doesn't it? Yes. And her pelvis, you can see, is wider on this left side. And this is where her left SI is at. That's probably tender right there, huh? Yes. Is that where you're feeling most of the pain? Yes. Yeah. So she has a primary left sacroiliac subluxation, or sprain too, which is like missing. So I'm adjusting her left SI joint, her left hip, and then the left part of the sacrum, straight T to A and S to I, superior to inferior, on the Y axis. And then the right side of the sacrum, now I'm adjusting the right SI. And I'm going to come back over here and adjust the left SI one more time. And now I'm going to get L5, P to A right here, L4, P to A. L3 PA, L2 PA, 
anytime you're treating people who have been injured in automobile accidents, car crashes, slip and falls in a store or parking lot or someone's home, you always want to find out how those injuries are affecting that person's ability to live their lives, their activities of daily living. Now see her legs are exactly even now and I'm betting you this already feels a little easier than the last one. Yes. Yep. Okay. You'll like this next part. Alright. I want to be nice to her, not turbonator today because I'm going to turn Joseph loose on her here in a second. Or you already did do that, didn't you? Thank God Joseph's back and we're back. This is our first day back in the office. We were at a seminar all week last week. And it was on spinal trauma, soft tissue injuries, neurophysiology, biomechanics. So we have to go to postgraduate education every year to keep up on our Texas board hours as well as continuing our education, making ourselves better practitioners so that we can help our patients with a higher level of skill and education and adjusting techniques. I learned a lot of what I learned and what you see me doing here after I graduated from Palmer College of Chiropractic in Davenport, Iowa in 1981, which tells you how, about how old I am, how long I've been practicing. A lot of you weren't even born before 1981. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I still felt pretty good, didn't I? Yes. Okay, hang on one second here. I am going to go ahead and adjust your cervical spine now, though, PA. I'm going to put that curve back in your neck with this one, so put your face straight in there. And just let this headpiece pop up. That's C2 and 3. There's C5, C6. And there's C6, C7. So what I'm doing is I'm putting that large cervical lordosis or curve back in her neck that direction. Let's turn you on your back now. And now I'm going to do it from her laying on her back with a zygomatic arch contact. Yep, right there. Good. And just let your head relax in my hand. Perfect. So see, I'm bringing her head up and extending it backwards, just like that. There. That doesn't hurt, does it? No. Let's not slide down this way a little bit. A lot of people think that I'm hurting people's cheeks when I do that, but it doesn't. Okay, let's put your arm straight out to the side like this for me, please, Neil. Straight, straight out, like towards Joseph there. Okay, I'm going to drop your shoulders first, right there. Now I'm going to get your sternoclavicular joint, right where the collarbone meets the sternum. And then your anterior ribs, right there. Good. Now when you stand up, you should feel your shoulder really square off after that. Just let this leg go lift. Oh yeah. Wow. You felt that in your knee yes. and your back? Yes. There we go. Perfect. Good job. Okay, let's sit down and face toward Joseph. There we go. I'm going to lower this table a little bit. Scoot back just a little bit more for me this way. There you go. Good. Now we're going to adjust both of her shoulders. And you notice I adjust all of my patients' entire bodies, not just one area. Because it all works together. We get a lot of patients coming here that have seen other chiropractors. You know, relax your elbow. So you get your elbow and your wrist. Because we do a lot more comprehensive adjusting of the spine and extremities than most. Isn't that how you found this? Yes. On YouTube? On YouTube. Yep. There we go again. Back 
next one. That's it. Okay, let's stand in front of the mirror here. I think I've got my gun working again. Okay, let's flex you forward and backwards and let your arms hang down. See, that's when you're doing. You hang on your hands out front. Yep, and relax backwards all the way now. And then back to neutral. That was a little better. Yep, okay, so then pull these up and back. Watch what this does to the position of your hands. Spread your feet a little bit further apart so it don't pull you over. See how that pulls them way back? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bring that head all the way back here. Y'all been asking what this does. This is a specific Atlas adjusting instrument that when I put the patient in a mirror image biomechanics or posture like this, and then I adjust the atlas on the x-axis, it sends neurological information into the cerebellum. The cerebellum controls balance, posture, coordination, and all kinesthetic movement throughout the body. So go ahead and try that again. This should feel smoother. Like I put a little yes, WD-40 in does. there. And then back to neutral. Now see your hands are more on your hips now. They're not mm -hmm. as far out front, but eventually we're going to get you squared off like this. Mm -hmm. You should feel fairly square right yeah. now, actually. I do. Good. So, you being a YouTube subscriber, I assume, and watch our videos, uh, do we do the same things in here that we show on YouTube? Yes, you do. Yeah, it's all yeah. the same. I all mean, it's the not same. the same, but it's unique to every person. Right, unique to every person, but I definitely feel 100% better. Yeah, and that's only number two. I we know. still got a ways to go, so you're doing great. Thank you Thank for you like, so sharing much. your story. And this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see you next time.